Perhaps your Windows device came with a video card that has excellent calibration software. So your Windows 8.1 image looks absolutely beautiful on your device. But perhaps it doesn't come with such software. Or maybe the software is so complicated you just can't get things on your monitor looking the way you want. Well, introducing the built-in Windows 8 video calibration that is often overlooked. I would have liked to have covered this in either my configuring Windows 8.1 course or supporting Windows 8.1 course here at cbtnuggets.com, but there really wasn't time. Let me, in this micro nugget, show you the powerful and often overlooked video calibration tool built right in to Windows 8. The first step in finding this video calibration is to go ahead and launch your control panel. And I'm sure you're not surprised. In control panel, we're going to go to display. In the display tool, over on the left, you'll see calibrate color. And you're going to be doing a lot more than just calibrating the color. But that is certainly one of the things that we're going to do. One of the things I love about this built-in tool is how simple it is to use. It's, it's idiot-proof for someone like me that doesn't really understand a lot of the settings that could be used to make my image look awesome. So I'm going to choose Calibrate Color. Let me resize this so you can see everything just perfectly here. All right, here we go. So it says, first, to improve the color on your display and make sure things are looking accurate, let's get started with the next button in the lower right corner. Oh boy, it keeps resizing on us. All right, that's no problem. Next, it says to go ahead and use the menu settings on your monitor to go ahead and set the monitor to its default settings. So go in and use the instructions that came with your monitor to absolutely reset everything to scratch, reset everything to ground zero. The next thing it'll do is allow you to set the gamma. Look at how cool this is. It says, this is how things would look if gamma is too low. This is how things would look if gamma is too high. This would be a good gamma setting. Notice it's just the four images there, the four circles, uh, all in gray, right? So you can get a sense for how that looks. And then sure enough, my gamma was, was, was off a bit. So I'm going to adjust the gamma so that I get that image right there. That looks great. I choose next and it says we can help you adjust the brightness and the contrast. And it will show you what a good brightness looks like. And it's pretty cool. This guy's suit is a black suit. He's got a black shirt underneath. There's this black X up here. So it gives you clues to what to look for on setting your brightness. So we would use the controls on our display now to set the brightness higher or lower so that we get that great looking image. Next, it's contrast, something I always struggle with setting. And it says, all right, look, this is what it would look like with a good contrast setting. So once again, we use the contrast settings on our monitor to get this perfectly adjusted contrast. Next up, it's it does color balance. So we want to go for neutral grays in our color balance. Looks like I am pretty good there. Nothing to adjust. And then it says, hey, do you want to use this calibration that we have cooked up? Or do you want to go ahead and go back to whatever previous calibration was on this system? Notice that we'll, it will also start clear type tuner when we click finish. And this is a big deal for my high resolution monitor. So I'm going to say, yes, help me with clear type because I I want my type to look beautiful. So we say next here, and it just simply walks us through which text sample looks better. Well, it's this one. Which one looks better now? Well, it's this one. Which one looks better now to me? It is definitely that one. Which one looks better now? I would say this one in the lower right. So we make our selections as to what text looks best to us, and it is going to tune our text based on our selections. So there you have it, built in, powerful, yet very simple to use and understand calibration for our Windows system. I sure hope this micro nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.